Hello from Halo and good afternoon. This is Sam speaking. Uh, today we'll be talking about changing the density of your stitches in your Wilcom uh, E4.5 software. Uh, what it means to change density, uh, the density itself refers to the space between every stitch. So if we're going to increase the density between those stitches, that actually means making less stitches available in that design. Uh, and generally, we're going to want to either increase or decrease uh, the stitches uh, or the density of the stitches depending on our needs. More tightly bound stitches may end up puckering more, so we may want to uh, increase the density between those stitches. However, if you're working with puff or anything else that requires a lot more stitches to help perforate the material and remove it, it may behoove you to uh, decrease the uh, density between, between every stitch and so that you will have much more stitches in an area. Uh, so actually how to go ahead and do this, I'm going to click on the object which you would like to change. Uh, make sure it's the entire object and not just the underfill. So this, there it is. Uh, in addition, I'm going to go ahead and scroll out a little bit. Um, you can also select the entire artwork so that you know all of the density around the stitches is uh, consistent. From here we're going to go to the right side of our screen where we have object properties docked. Um, if you do not see it on the side of your screen, you can find it on this top bar here, object properties right up here but I do keep it docked on the right side of our screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. Uh, you're going to find your density under fills, this tab here, and then usually it's going to be a satin stitch, which we are trying to edit. So we are on satin stitch and that's great. Uh, here is the spacing, which actually uh, edits the density between the stitches, which is exactly what we wanna change. So from here, we're going to click on this top down menu and these are in millimeters. Uh, it, uh, once again, increasing means increasing the space around the stitch or between the stitch. So just to see, let's increase the stitch. Look at our stitch count. It is 2,400 stitches. Stitch count is right here. So let's decrease that density. We're at 24, let's go back down to 14. And you can actually see a change made in an artwork. I'm not sure if it can uh, be caught on camera, but just to be uh, just to check whether or not this actually made a change to the design, we're going to look down at our stitch count. Uh, now it's uh, 3,800 stitches. So that was uh, an addition of about uh, 1,400 stitches just by taking out some of that density. Um, that's about it. Pretty simple and welcome. I hope this helps you in your embroidery digitizing endeavors. Thank you for watching.